On this channel, pretty often we talk about some of the remake mods on their way to Fallout 4 or even Fallout New Vegas. We've talked about the Fallout 2 remake mod, whose name I have continuously failed to pronounce, and even more recently other projects like Fallout 4 The Capital Wasteland Project attempting to recreate Fallout 3, or even Fallout 4 New Vegas. Which hey, actually here's a couple of teasers from that mod that were just recently shared. Although one mod I have yet to cover on the channel thus far is Fallout 1 The Story, which definitely doesn't have that same ring to it like some of these other mods do, but definitely is still a pretty interesting one. As what this one is attempting to do is recreate Fallout 1 in Fallout New Vegas' engine. And in fact, it's not only attempting to do it, they have completed and released some aspects of this, such that you could actually play this for yourself, and it includes quests, NPCs, and dialogue, and even some voice acting. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make a new one. And the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. So I know right off the bat, many people might look at this as a little frustrating. Fallout 4 has a vastly better engine compared to New Vegas, so why on earth would users be attempting to recreate Fallout 1 in New Vegas' engine instead of Fallout 4's? Well, one of the first reasons is this is actually a very old mod at this point, and actually a little bit of a confusing one. The original release for this dates back all the way to October 17th of 2012, so it's quite literally seven years and change in the making, but even beyond that, just one year ago, in November of 2018, they actually posted, unfortunately today we have reached the point where no further progress with the development is possible. And then at that point, they actually dumped all of the stuff they have created for this thus far. So now you might be sitting here asking, Juicehead, why on earth are you covering one, a dead mod project, but two, a recreation of Fallout 1 in New Vegas' engine? Well, really the main reason for that is they have quite a bit done already. You'll see some of this and I'll point out explicit examples in some of the gameplay. But separate from that, although that post was made one year ago saying the mod is done, no progress will be made any further, just two weeks ago they actually posted a fairly large update to this, adding in a decent amount of new content. So I don't really know what to believe. On one hand, it's dead apparently, but at the same time, it's still getting updates, even just recently. And the mod author himself actually was responding to some bug reports that users were posting just in December of 2019. So I don't know, maybe it's dead, maybe it's not. Either way, it's still getting updates, and for that reason, I'm going to talk about it. Even further, even though it is Fallout New Vegas' engine, this is still an engine you could have a lot of fun with. And in fact, this mod does bring quite a bit of enjoyment and nostalgia to Fallout New Vegas. I think for many Fallout fans, even though they might know the lore of some of those initial games, they just don't play them. That tap down nature is fairly alienating once you get used to the 3D style of the more modern games. So whenever I see mod projects like this, whether it be the Fallout 2 remake mod for Fallout 4 or even this one, which I just stumbled upon, I get really excited at the potential. And the execution with this mod is actually really interesting. After downloading this, you can return to Doc Mitchell's house. Inside, you'll find a little book that will take you to a totally new land, that of Fallout 1. And from here, you're gonna basically start Fallout 1 like you traditionally would start Fallout 1. It's actually pretty cool, if you've ever played the original game, you'll immediately get that rush of nostalgia, some flashbacks. I mean, just even look at this side by side. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I... I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. And from there, you do exit Vault 13, and you are on your way, just as the initial quest of Fallout 1 started originally. From here, you're going to encounter many of the same enemies, particularly a swarm of rats that is actually fairly terrifying. This mod does add in nearly all of the old school NPCs from those games, reusing some when necessary. But even further, something else pretty interesting about this one is it actually has a very different and kind of hybrid transportation style. Once you reach the border of a cell, you will have the option to exit that cell completely. This will take you to this little floating Pip-Boy map thing, where you basically have a bunch of little squares, and after clicking on one, you can move yourself to a different square. Over time, as you talk to other NPCs and they give you the location of something notable or something to do with a quest, you might see a certain square lit up that you can then walk to, but otherwise, just as you explore, you will discover some of the new locations of this map. Although, separately, an important factor around this, you may also have random encounters as you travel. So sometimes you'll be sucked out of this little map phase and back into a 3D cell because an enemy did stumble upon you, or I guess you stumbled upon them. 
Something important to note around this mod overall, it is a beta or even alpha phase. It's fairly buggy at times. For whatever reason, when I try and move on this map, I get like a hardcore lag. I found another video of somebody else using this flawlessly, so I don't know, your mileage may vary. But after that, once you arrive at your destination, you just click on your little wanderer and you will be teleported down into that cell. And some of these are massive, but also almost one-to-one -one recreations of what we had in Fallout 1. Not all of the towns or areas are complete yet, but the ones that are, such as Vault 13 or 15 or even Shady Sands, are pretty awesome. I only played Fallout 1 briefly, but even if you just take a look at the original game versus this now 3D recreation, this gave me nostalgia. I know though, some of the world spaces definitely do need some polish, but again, it all is work in progress so that is to be expected. They really nailed it with some of these. Many of these are very simple, but also faithful recreations to what we had in Fallout 1. And from there, you will progress your way on doing that initial quest of finding the water chip for Vault 13. This of course brings you to Vault 15 and even something really cool, a really cool gaming moment I had here. In order to progress through Vault 15, you need a rope. In the style of those original Fallouts, it didn't just hold your hand telling you where things were, you had to figure it out. Rather than actually doing that, I looked up a guide for the original Fallout 1, how you found a rope in that game, and then applied it to this mod, and lo and behold, shortly thereafter, I had my rope. This is a really good one-to-one -one recreation. If you played those OG games and you remembered how to find certain things in them, it will carry over to this mod, which is awesome. Outside of that, it also does add in some custom weapons, armors, and things of that nature. Overall, this mod is a ton of fun. A good one to keep an eye on, I guess. Uh, is it dead? Is it not dead? I still don't really know the answer. But of course, with it being a work in progress, I'm really showing you some of the best parts. There are still several locations that are just in the early phases, only just started. Even though you could progress some of the quests quite nicely, there are still some that you can't get too far with. You could maybe get the quest, but can't get much farther. Some of the follower systems are still in the early days here. But overall, this is one to get excited for. It actually has a lot more to show than a lot of these other attempts at overhaul or recreation mods already. And plus, it's actually pretty fun to mess around with. It's definitely a different take on a Fallout 1 remake. I like the hybridization of some of those features and also making just some things about this unique, not just reusing things all from Fallout New Vegas. But either way, yeah, if you want to see more of this, I'm going to have a bit of a gameplay at the end of this one if you just want some raw footage, because I have a feeling not too many of you may have New Vegas installed to easily try it out for yourself. But with all that being said, I thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Later. your map with location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe, okay? Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger. Please holster that weapon while you're here. What can I do for you? Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? <laughs>